our friend Israel for building settlements and said nothing about Hamas launching thousands of rockets into Israel. Just before Bibi Netanyahu came to the United States, he threw Israel under the best bus trying to negotiate for Israel. The right course, if you disagree with an ally, you talk about it privately, but in public you stand shoulder to shoulder with your allies. The right course is not going to Well, then what, what, what would we say to the state of Israel that has been threatened uh, to be wiped out? And in fact, they're already doing things. I mean, they're supporting Hezbollah, Hamas to cause problems within the state of Israel. They're supporting the state of Syria. And they've made the comment that, uh, repeat, that the you know, Holocaust didn't happen and that there is no reason for Israel. and. And here they're about to get a nuclear weapon. I know, but it's and you throw in the theocratic, the, the, the theology of the 12th Imam. Israel has to defend itself. And we have to support Israel in that regard. The fact is, the Jewish people in 1921 were promised a homeland. That homeland is built around the city of David. The city of David is 3,000 years old. There is no legitimate historical question about the right of Jews to be in the Middle East. How can you have 11 missiles fired into Israel in, in November alone and call it a peace process? But if we see this conflict only from one side or the other, then we will be blind to the truth. The only resolution is for the aspirations of both sides to be met through two states where Israelis and Palestinians each live in peace and security. But today the Jews rule this world by proxy. They get others to fight and die for them. They invented socialism, communism, human rights and democracy so that Persecuting them would appear to be wrong, so they may enjoy equal rights with others. With these, they have now gained control of the most powerful countries, and they, this tiny community, have become a world power.